Okay, so today we're going to try and tie uh, one of my little flat shrimp. So, something I've been working on for the last couple of years. Um, it's been um, reasonably productive. It's sort of originated or came from the um, Dave's pink shrimp, the um, pink, um, Chris Beach ties a couple of very good, well, very good versions of that fly. He sort of, I think Dave Bradley started tying it, Chris Beach perfected it. Um, I was looking for a nice shrimp fly, I saw that, I couldn't quite get it right. So I um, essentially used what I had and I came up with this. Um, yeah, it's been working well on Goldens, um, particularly Golden Trevally um, and the local flats. Um, of course, little jeeks love it as well, fool's gold, but um, it's primarily a fly for, for goldens. don't like to use a lot of flash in it. Um, you could use it I guess for permit. It hasn't been proved on, um, on those, those guys yet though. So but anyway, so first things first, tie in a nice set of dumbbells. Then, once we do that, this little hot spot of um, Arctic snow from Fly Ties Dungeon. That's what I've, what I've got, what I use. It's nice on the, on the wallet. The hook um, I'm using is a um, Mustard C70SD10. Uh, you could use, equally use SL12S, S113H, or other similar hooks that are out there at the moment. This is the one that I like to use. Um, but I guess it's a slightly longer shank than the um, SL12S, a similar size. It's, um, it's good, I don't have any traumas with it um, pulling, um, straightening. You know, it could always happen. Um, but, um, we want a nice bit of pink marabou for the for the mouth. Or feelers, whatever you want to call them. Sort of trim off your excess as you go. I'm not a very clean tire, uh, quite messy in fact. Um, but anyway, so it is what it is. Get some mono eyes. There we go, something like that. The autofocus is a bit shit. Um, tie them in, sort of gently, initially, and sort of pull them until you're sort of happy with them in their position. I see a number of different ways that people tie these on, whether they tie them on the bottom of the hook or whatever, I like to tie mine on the top. It's just what I like to do. If you want to tie yours on the bottom, tie yours on the bottom. Just a couple of cross wraps just to sort of help 
to display it out. And a couple underneath. Just to help it sit up a little bit. So, that's that. So, we got a little bit of Congo here. So it comes off with a shank. Cut it over. Cut it off. Save half. Double it over. Go around the oh, there we go. There we go. So it's all on. Just trying to build up the sort of rostrum head. So then we've got some silly legs to put in. So I've got, I think they're called loco legs. And um, the other one is the hot orange or fire, hot orange clear fire tip silly legs. Um, most good places have them. Um, untamed flies and tackle. Uh, there's one place that has them. Um, Trout law. Is another, particularly with loco legs. Uh, Rob likes to get stuff that other people tend not to, I guess. Um, Squish is very good. He's where I get most of my heavy dumbbell lies from. Um, sort of double it over like that. And you'll notice that I've tied the orange in closer to the body, sort of, it's just a technique that I like to do. Um, once we've done that, a little bit of 1mm solder wire, just along the hook shank, it's just a little bit of extra, extra weight, and ultimately you want to get your fly on the ground, on the bottom, um, that's what it's for. And they go into valley. They eat stuff off the bottom. They'll chase it if you come up off the bottom. They won't necessarily chase it if you're coming back down. Um, so, plenty of weight. And you want it to right hook point up. There you go. We've got a brush, very rudimentary, uh, made from Congo hair. Um, on um, 32 gauge wire. Wrap it around. Just make sure you're happy with it. too dense. You want it, you know, you wrap it around, you're coming, just making sure that everything's sort of pushed forward. It's one more, just one more. There we go. <clears throat> Wrap it around. So bring that back down. So now we want to tease out any trapped hairs.
first things first. And up the top. And we get the second half of the fungo hair that we had, or EP fiber. And it's very similar materials. Round it up, bang bang. Build up your head. with finishes just with my fingers which is nearly there let's sort of turn her over it's just really trimming shaping that's all that's left the underside yeah over the top over the side one side Obviously, the way that it's sitting, this can move around, so we want to set that in place. Best way to do that, you can use super glue. Um, or razor. Um, I'll just raise that thin, just to sort of get it in place. Just want to massage it a bit. Massage it in, hit that with the UV light. You can see that's alright, it's not too bad. And then just to finish her off, all we want to do is just a little bit of Ray Zap Flex. Over the carapace. And of course, just see the end. And up there. Bang. Get that with the UV torch. Shake it all around. It's actually pretty good the rates up. It does try to relatively tack free compared to a lot of others and the smell um, is so much less, so much on your nose than some of the other stuff. But anyway, here we go. You can do a little bit of extra trimming if you want. Right, there you have it. A little, a little flat shrimp. So I'm not so little on a 1-0. Um, easily tied down on a size 2 or a 4. You can tie a bead chain. Um, or not. And that's totally fine. But, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.